Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Onoche Chokore and in this video, I am going to show you how you can easily copy this project standard from one file to the other. All you have to do is open the project you want to use. Okay, you can go over to your document, find the file. You can now select it and then hit open. It's going to open. I've already opened mine. This is the project I'm going to be using. Okay, so when you open it, you go over to the project you want to copy the standard to. Let me go to the floor plan. It doesn't matter. You can also do this on the 3D, but I just want to be on the floor plan when I do this. Now, before we do anything, I want us to take note of how the grids are looking because when we are done with this, I'm going to show you how they'll be looking. So you can see this is the grid. Yeah, then let's go to the rear elevation. You can see the way this level is looking. So now let's go ahead and transfer our project standard. So you see the differences that is going to occur. You go over to the manage tab. All right. Over here in the settings panel, you're going to see transfer project standards. It's that simple. So when you click on it, you make sure you okay, in, in situations where you have one and two files, because now all, all I'm open in this particular review session is two files. The file I want to copy the standards to and the file I want to copy the standards from. Sometimes you might have three files open in one review session or four. So ensure that you want to this copy from drop down ensure that you are selecting the revit file you want to copy these standards from okay so when you select it you cannot choose what you want to copy okay you might choose to copy everything but usually i always advise to copy the things you need all right so i'm going to check none and i'm going to check find view templates and i'm going to select it and a view port type i'm going to go over to sections i'm going to select the section tag i'm going to go So when I'm done selecting everything that I need to select, I'll just hit OK. And then it is going to copy those things over. When you have things that have the same name, like they are on that other file, it is going to come and ask you whether you want to overwrite it or you want the new ones only. Well, I want to overwrite it because I don't even like the way they are looking. So I'm going to overwrite. So it is going to copy and replace those elements in this particular file. So it might take a while depending on how many things you are copying or how heavy the file is. Okay, whatever takes time. But you just have to wait. When it is done, you fly off. Okay, now it is done. Now, when I want to use this type of wall and everything all i have to do is come over here let's go to the floor plan again go to the view template now you see i have a new stuff here and i hit okay now you can see the wall changed the windows everything the line winds and everything has changed i have um some things here that i don't have over there so when i copy it and then i paste it over here you see it's already coming with that hatch pattern like that or that one so when i select it and i edit it and adjust the boundary which i'm not going to do because of our time it is going to have the same thing all right let me draw a grid line let's see how that looks now as you can see this is the way our grid line look very identical to what we have here in fact they are the same thing because i transferred the grid project standard over here all right so let's let's go to our elevation okay Let's see. You can see the way our level is looking now. I'm very sure this is not the way it was looking before. Yeah. So that's how you transfer your project standards. Okay. That's how you transfer your project standard from one file to the other. Okay. So um, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking our time to be here with us on this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do where to subscribe. We post videos like this every two days. Okay. So we teach you new stuff in both Revit and 3ds Max. All right. Yeah, so if you enjoy this video, please help us share this file, like this file and comment if you have any question or if you have anything you need to tell us, okay? It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm, all right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.